Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and I'm here today doing a studio tour with Debbie, and she is going to show us her sewing studio. So I will come back to you when I'm at Debbie's home. See you later. Hi T Quilters, it's T and I am at Debbie's home and she is going to show us her studio and I am standing at the door to her studio. She actually has it in the lower level of her home and she knew when she built this home that she was going to be in this particular area. Here we are with Debbie and she's holding her phone because at the beginning of her studio she doesn't have a light but I wanted to showcase some of her quilts. So anything you want to say to us right now Debbie? Well, if you look over here, here's my version of me. <laughs> <laughs> and did you win a prize for this? Yes, I did. And uh, I, I think I got first prize for that, so that I'm pretty nice. proud. Mm -hmm. um, this one I made um, during my mom's last few days mm -hmm. when I was sitting at her side, so that one's pretty special to me. And this was a class by one of our members in uh, Flower Valley Quilt Guild. Um, it was Japanese Lanterns. Was that Jane Coons? It was that? Jane Coons. Okay. And then you've got a quilt stand here. Yes. This one's pretty cool. This is actually a cheater panel that I decided I was going to do some long arm machine playing on it. And uh, I don't know if I got... A prize for that or not but everybody was saying yeah. that I could have if I would have entered it in the challenge we had okay so. and so then she's just got more storage cabinets here yeah this so is she's got some paint stuff here I like to paint and do different so things, you know so. as all of us quilters know we all do more than one craft so just more storage stuff here oh my gosh it's filled with fabric I didn't know that I wasn't expecting that this so is all this holidays. is ho all holidays all holidays so that's pretty cool and this one is all backings and then I have some old jeans that one day will be a quilt <laughs> very nice so you're ready to go. I'm ready to go. Okay, and so now you can go ahead and leave. We don't need that anymore. <laughs> okay. Well, now but I just wanted to show your beginning quilts, especially your portrait quilt, because those are pretty cool. Thank you. So now we got Deborah's, Debbie's, I keep saying Deborah because I have a friend named Deborah as well, but she knows what I mean. Yes. But it's Debbie. Yes. And this is her entire studio. So I just want to give you a little visual of what's going on on this side. So I'm going to let Debbie tell us how she used her space and she can walk us around the room. Okay. Well, these are all my storage cabinets. I have them color-coded. Very well, nice. And this is close. pretty wide. What did you get this cabinet from? Because this is pretty wide considering what I've seen before in storage units. These, um, I think they were on clearance at a store in Jennings. There used to be this shop, same place I got side. my floor from, and these cabinets were $200 wow. for each one. So my husband said, you can get those for your fabric. Open. Can you open another one? Is it just sure. as neat? Because I haven't seen cabinets this wide yeah. Unless you were getting Ikea closet things. Yeah. So I have never seen these double closet these doors things, like this. You know, and I'm wrong. They were $100 a piece, um, but they weigh 200 pounds. That's where okay. the two came from. And the shelving is holding up really nice, too, considering how many years you've been here with the weight on them. And you've got them stuffed, honey. You don't need another piece of fabric. My husband had to add 
one shelf because this was missing and I I wanted all the shelves. Mm -hmm. But he had to add one to each one of these cabinets. Very nice. So beautiful. You want to see more? <laughs> I'll show you the sure. rest of them. You know we love fabric. So do I. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. And I have other things in here too. Like I have a lot of felt in here that okay. I play with it now and then. So. And these are panels that I love playing with panels. So I just buy a lot of panels and they're sitting here whenever yeah. I feel like doing I think I gave you panel for Christmas last year because you told me you like playing with panels. Yes. And I found some. And oh gosh. this is my last Oh, one. wow. You know. Your blacks. And I then like them. novelties and, and florals. Yeah, teats. novelties and kitty prints and things. Very nice. So yes, and then on top, she mm -hmm. also uses for storage up on top. She look, Debbie is a collector of things too. I have to tell you that she collects sewing machines. Look like she collects these little stuffed animals. Are there a particular kind of stuffed animal? Well, these are just kind of different kinds of animals. Okay. Like these are hamsters that make noise. I have never seen that before. So these hamsters, <laughs> I just kept on buying them and buying them. Now I have an overload of them. It's too funny. And then she even utilizes the outside of the doors to hang stuff on as well. So she's got, like she said, her panels. She's got decorations on them, thread racks. So she utilizes all of the space of the cabinets, not just on the inside, which is a terrific idea. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and so then we keep going down. So we're just walking the whole length. We're at the back end. So this is the end of her studio from where we started with her portrait. This is and my library. This wow, is this is a true library. Let me give you a side shot again so you can see that she's got these alphabets for the books. Now are they alphabetized by author or Quilt type, book title. Uh, book title. Very or nice. Subject, kind of subject. Very nice. Um, these are all quilting related on this side. Well, you a librarian assignment at one point. <laughs> uh, yes, I actually was. Okay, because I'm like, honey, please. Mine's are <laughs> alphabetized by, well, they're not alphabetized. They're by subject, but they're not alphabetized. And then lots more stuffed animals on top. <laughs> As you can tell from this one, I love teddy bears. And it kind of got out of control also. So but yes, very I, I nice. I have the pillows and everything. On this side is, well, I miss this, but this is just more my junk that I keep. Uh, Some more of your starches and stuff like that. Keep the stuff that's ugly you want to keep hidden. Okay. Um, more books. More books. This is crochet, uh, woodworking, you name it, it's over here. This one is all quilting magazines. So I have a little bit of everything. One day I will downsize it. I don't know when that'll happen though. Very nice. Some of my ribbons. And then you've I've got worn. this on the side of the cabinet that you've got your fusibles and wax paper, freezer paper, your I just recently paper. decided to organize that because I had this stuff everywhere and I couldn't find it. It's very nice. So I and put it all in one place. She even got a chair here. She decides she wants to do some hand work or just take a break. Got yeah, a nice working, comfy got chair. A TV that I can swivel around and watch TV. And then you've got another container here. I'm looking at glues and scissors and so she's got everything labeled <laughs> and in containers which is nice. We just got to get them back in there when we take them out. <laughs> but very nice. <laughs> very um, nice. Some of my rulers. Oh, so her rulers are on her desk. And she's used the 3M hooks to hold those up. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. And more storage over here. This area, it's kind of in the middle of the room. But this is... Uh, scraps that I'm cutting up into different size blocks so if you need say two inch blocks you've got them and I go from an inch and a half down to um, five inch blocks okay 
Very nice. And then the same thing over here with half square strips, yes. back quarters. And so this is your whole cutting area things. When they come in, you know you want to cut down. They go yes. over into this area. This is the stuff that I want to my crumb bin. Okay, tell me how do you accu accumulate this kind of stuff? Well, because that's important on who you are. <laughs> um, I use uh, my scraps from leftovers from projects. I also um, acquire fabrics from thrift stores. Mm -hmm. Um, sometimes I even cut up old clothes if I like the prints. Mm -hmm. um, I really like to make a lot of scrap quilts. So, um, yeah, I just wanted I to, I wanted her to explain that because she does a lot of thrifting and Debbie is one of those ones that finds all the good stuff. <laughs> and so <laughs> that's why I wanted you to know that she does get some scraps from working on projects, but she gets a lot of stuff from being in the right place at the right time and she got a good eye for what's good and what's not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're gonna go back to your, this is your main work area where you yes. piece? Yes. Okay, so they like to know what kind of machines people have. <laughs> and she's even got storage down here so she's utilizing everything she can for storage. And this is a Baby Locks Quilter's Choice Professional. This is the machine that I do all my um, machine quilting on um, as far as my sit down stuff like wall size okay um, anything bigger I put on my long arm okay but I have a machine here so you've got I, another one on this table um, wow I love old machines oh wow this is a Sears Kenmore I got one of these but not in this type of a case so I uh, do a lot of piecing on that machine. Mm -hmm. I made a little ironing table especially for scraps so you can have your table right there and you're not getting up and down okay. all the time. Very nice. So so this is just her work area and then she's mm -hmm. got the cutting mat also. She can slide the machine out if it's in the way for bigger stuff but she and can cut I there. And ideas, there's a laptop. So she's got a laptop underneath and you keep them you just pulled that off the sewing machine, or did you have that already there? No, I I had that on there okay. already. Okay, so you I, just keep it covered for dust and stuff like that, or? I have dogs that shed. Oh, okay. So I keep the dog hair off of things by covering them. Okay. Well, I'm glad I asked because people see stuff and then they come ask me questions in the comment sections like, I don't know. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but that's yeah, why. and you've got another beautiful quill here hanging on a wall. Was that a challenge? That was a challenge with our guild. Um, it was something about uh, numbers. I think it was six because there's six stars on there on the outside. And I have song verses that I've quilted into the border. Um, one of our other members, uh, named Linda, uh, calls it my tidy bowl quilt because for some reason she sees it swirling in the middle. <laughs> Very nice. So, yeah, I didn't win anything though on that But one. very pretty. Thank you. Okay, then another cabinet here. Is it just more fabric there? No, that actually is another one of my addictions. This <laughs> is, um yarn oh i have some of yarn too <laughs> yeah uh, the whole thing and i also have a couple crates of yarn i don't know why that section's empty down there it's <laughs> interesting uh-oh <laughs> uh -oh. So. and then more cabinets here look like we've got beadings and embellishment type things in the first cabinet and and these are works in progress that's what in the other are. cabinets yes. and then I'm just gonna go up on the top again and show you where she's got some of her these collectibles are cushions and sewing collectibles mm -hmm. um, and she's got like play machines this one is a toy machine that one of our former members gave me I helped her one day and she surprised me by giving me that machine. Very nice. And she's got another little one over there, a hand. Yeah, this so. little bitty one was um, one of our former members, Bev Pankowitz. Mm -hmm. And her husband gave me that for helping clean her stuff out. It's very nice. So a lot of these pink cushions and things I find at secondhand stores and I can't leave them alone because people work hard on this stuff. 
and just to throw them away it really hurts my heart mm -hmm. so they come home with me very nice and then more storage containers it's got like long arm thread and regular sewing threads all sorted into the drawers by type very nice and this is interfacing and stuff that and then she's got embroidery designs just everything is labeled so she can easily get to it which is pretty cool so we've still been doing the outer perimeter <laughs> of her office and i just got to show you these stools that stool is pretty did you recolor that <laughs> or did you get it like that i got that stool like that and i want to sand it down and make it kind of like a mary ingle bright okay kind of color. but it's pretty interesting what the people who had it before you did and it's a peace symbol yeah but, it's definitely interesting. But yeah. The other one came from a thrift store too, and it's kind of Art Deco. Mm -hmm. And the, I recovered the seat to it. So. And it's even got the foot things on it, but it makes it look like it's artsy. Yes. I like the way it's thrown in. Yeah. And then this is another sewing machine that she uses. She actually embroiders on this machine. I thought Debbie was embroidering on a, I guess a tin needle or whatever number of needles on the big industrial machine. She does it professionally. But no, she's using a small machine, so she is truly awesome. I just <laughs> learned that today. So, more rulers hanging. Thread. Did your husband make this? Cut this down for you? Yes, he did. Uh, this pegboard that she's using as a thread holder. And then she's got the wood dowels in the pegboard for her threads. That's creative as well. Workstation, music station. Another mm -hmm. quilt on the wall. Just another challenge or just one you made? Um, Toby Lishko. That's oh. for St. Louis Stars. Okay, pretty cool. I took that class with her. Okay. And then we've got another one there that our pillows and fiber field are covering. Okay. And then we've got more big cabinets here. And Debbie, I want you to talk about how you're hanging. Is it just one of those over the door racks that you've got? Yes. Okay. I find those occasionally and I think, do I have a door for these? And then she's got her quilt blocks actually hanging on them here. So her orphan quilt blocks, which are nice. I and find then, vintage blocks and I collect those. I have orphan blocks. And so when you collect the vintage orphan blocks, do you clean them up or is that just how they came in like that well i do wash them because they look they them. look pretty clean yes yeah, okay i do i try to spot clean them okay um i did want to show you from get to it um back here that quilt my portrait quilt this oh that is from uh when i was in 12th grade i did that portrait and it's called pointillism. So I based my challenge off wow. of Wow. So. That is awesome. Just all, did you do the dots or was it a computer done? No, I did that. Wow. Yeah. I, I got a pretty high grade on it too. Very I nice. I don't remember what it was, but it was pretty high. So. Wow. Beautiful. And a lot of these, like ugh, this one is um, actually a quilt just waiting to go together. All the blocks uh -huh. go together. I forget what Lewis and Clark something or other. Okay, very nice. And then she's got more sewing machines stacked here. And Debbie has more sewing machines. She says she moved them out so we could get in too. But Debbie is a true sewing machine collector, <laughs> and her husband is great that he can fix them. <laughs> yes. I have thirty-one currently. Oh my gosh! Here's more. <laughs> wow. So yeah. So she's got more stored here. I didn't even see those. Yes. And then another one down there. That's a little toy. <laughs> Very nice. But yeah. So I'm gonna take a break, and then we're gonna come back and talk about what's in the center of her room. So now we just got a couple more things we want to show you. So we've got this table that Debbie has in the center and she has cutting mats and then she has some cutting supplies as well. Other various things here. So pins and then she also stores uh, stuff that she's doing with her strings are stored here. She's even got ties, t-shirts. So she's got everything nicely labeled, which is really cool so she knows what's in the various containers.
So now we've got the final thing. Debbie is also... I'm a long armor. <laughs> I'm not, um, I would say, um, an expert by any means, but I'm learning and... You do a, a fine job. I've seen some of your work. Thank so you. you're just being modest. She does a... Um, I keep telling people, a lot of people ask what type of machines people have, and it's not really about the machine. It's about what you can do, your craftiness with that machine. Debbie does a beautiful job, and she's using one of the original Tin Lizzie yes. sewing machines. And what's even nicer is she keeps hers lower than most people I see as far as height. Uh -huh. wise and her husband did something to make her frame a lot longer so let me just see if I can get a whole shot of how long her long arm frame is and then we'll have her talk about how long it is but it is super duper long and this is not normal no. size no. so can you tell us about what size it is and how did it become that way well when I originally got the tin Lizzie we lived in a smaller house okay and I had it at six foot. Well, six foot doesn't give you much room to work. Mm -hmm. So when we built this house, and I knew I was getting a large portion of the basement, so um, I asked my husband if he could make my frame longer. And he says, well, how long do you want it? <laughs> and I said, well, just longer than what I've got. He made it 14 foot. Wow. So there is not a quilt in this world that can't be quilted. Right. In this and this is a good size quilt that's on this machine. And she's got this much room left on each side of center. And this quilt, I'm just going to guess and say like what, 90 inches or something? Well, it's, it's a king size batting and it's covering the batting. So and the batting is right to the Wow. Edge, so. so this is, this is pretty long. Yeah. About 120. <laughs> so it's interesting. Okay. That he did that and then he also did he stabilize in the center of the poles well, to do that or how did he there is Make it this long center, um, Support it's in there somewhere. Okay. Yeah, I see the center support right there Yeah, and that came with the 10 Lizzie. Yes, that came but with it. how did he get your poles to be 14 Are the poles 14 by themselves or did he weld or he welded them together? Okay, and they're actually fence post. Okay and, uh, and um, he said, whatever you want, he said, you get it done now because I'm not doing it again. Wow. So, but yeah. just awesome. And that was one of the things that when I first saw Debbie's room that I noticed that this was way longer than what Tin Lizzie even advertised, especially for the first machine. They were only advertising it for like 10 feet. Correct. Um, this rod I added myself with bungee cords uh -huh. um, with pipe and pool noodles. To roll your batting on. Okay. Well, um, that was pretty cool way to get it on there, too. She just, like she said, she used a bungee cord, but I want you to see it up close. It's just, this is a freestanding pipe here. Yes. So if you don't have an extra pipe to roll your batting on, she's just got it there. Pretty cool. Because mm -hmm. mine is just on the floor. <laughs> well, I have the dogs that shed, so once again, I don't want my... Bet. Well, it's on the floor now because I haven't totally finished. And I like how since you knew you were going to be using this, you don't have the very thick pipes that are for your stabilization of the house. They're more narrower than other basements I've seen. Yes, and I think that's a new construction. Uh huh. But I know I know it's right. But I'm just saying it's just that the fact that they can be smaller, so they're not as obvious. Right. In your design when you're designing. So that's pretty cool. Because that's where I've got and, my electric. And then she runs her electric off. right down that pipe. Yeah. And I think Francesca did the same thing with her poles. She painted her poles. I think they were purple. And then she ran her electricity down her oh, pole. Cool. So that's what utilize them. If you're going to be here, you got to do some work. That's right. <laughs> um, also, um, you mentioned my floor. This is a laminate floor. And if I had to do it again, I would do the newer vinyl uh, planks. Mm -hmm. um, but this has a padding, maybe a half inch padding underneath. So it's really easy to stand on. Yeah, it is nice for me to be standing on a concrete floor. My feet don't know it. And I've been standing for about maybe 40 minutes. 
maybe now because we were talking before mm -hmm. but yeah so anything else that I missed that you want to share <laughs> just making sure before we close out nope. and she even got like various little chandeliers hanging wind, wind they're like chimes. wind chimes uh-huh mm -hmm. and I know you can't see them because of the light and so then thinking of the light she just has basic fluorescent light yes so yeah and it's like it lights up fine here she's got so many of them that it does a fine job you really don't even need another light in here yeah my husband put all these lights in it and if i need it toned down i have little lamps that i can use you know because i i don't nice. always need all this brightness mm -hmm. so you can tone it down too if you don't need it yes i'll show you wow I thought it was just a light switch on. Oh, okay. So you do have other switches. So the main one knocks, puts everything on and then you can turn it down, turn the other ones off. Very cool. And like she said, her husband, he, he made the designs for this home. He did most of the work on this home himself. There was very few things. He was having difficulty with the city, so he had some other people do, but very basic. But he did a remarkable job, and knowing that you were coming in here gave you good space. So, yes. so yeah. <laughs> so we're done? Uh -huh. Let's go. Hold on. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, hi, T Quilters. I just want to come back at the end and just thank Debbie for allowing us into her space. I appreciate her showing us everything that she has done. She is a very good organizer and she's a very good long arm quilter. So we will see you all in our next video. Bye bye, bye. everybody. <laughs>